Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to install ISC DHCP server on Ubuntu Server 2004 LTS. But before we start, let me remind you that you can subscribe my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the new videos I'm releasing. Okay, let's do it! Okay, first thing we need to do is to install ISC DHCP server using APT, the standard package manager on Ubuntu. And after we are done, let's wait a little bit, we will go straight to the configuration file on etc DHCP folder, okay, slash etc slash DHCP. Let's open it on nano editor. And we need to activate the server by putting authoritative directive active, okay? So, going down, we need to go to the configuration I have here. I have prepared a configuration on subnet 10.10.0.0 with 24 bits. The range will be from IP ending on 10 to 100. My subnet mask has the correct dimension, the router will be 10.10.0.254 and my DNS servers are Cloudflare and Google, okay? One hour of default list time and two hours of maximum list time for renewal. So, saved and exited from the editor, let's restart the service to check if everything went okay. Now I'm gonna make the status comment to check if it is running. As you can see, I have a warning because I don't have a configuration for my first uh, Ethernet interface. No problem about that. Now let's take care of the firewall, UFW status. I have to add a new rule for port 67, standard server listening port on DHCP protocol. And now that I am done, let's call TCP dump command with minus verbose twice VV minus N for numbering and minus I for ENP0S9 Ethernet interface and filtering on port 67 so we can capture the traffic on our network while we run the tests. So what I am be doing now is to run a tiny core a distribution, a very small Linux, very nice for this kind of test and this will be my first client that will get a configuration from my DHCP server. As soon as it starts requesting and as you can see I already have some traffic, we will see all the procedure. So the DORA uh, procedure that stands for discover, then the server will make an offer for the IP ending in 10. The client will be making the official request. This is the third step. And finally, when the server accepts, we'll send the acknowledge message to the client. So at this point, my first client already has a valid network configuration from our server. So another way to check that we already have a configuration running valid is to use DHCP lease list like I have written and then I will be watching it with the watch command so I can show you more clients. Let me go here to settings, change my internal network to my network. Okay. So this will be the, the same internal network they have used for client number one. Let me arrange the windows so you can check all the clients in my screen. Okay, I have to put them a little bit smaller and I will put them in the correct order from one to the last one 
I'll be using. Total five clients will be put to work. Okay, another one. This will be the third. Let's run it. As you can see on the back, there is my server already with two IPs, 10 and 11. Please also note that my internal tiny core clients have some uh, specific MAC addresses prepared by me so I can easily show you who they are and what configurations we get for them. Now I'm running the fourth. I already have IPs ending in 10, 11 and 12. So my fourth uh, machine should get IP 13. Complete IP is 10.10.0.13 and here we have it. Four clients already getting network configurations from our server. And finally, let's put the fifth client running, start. And here it is. I will also shrink the window a little bit. Let's press enter on this machine. Running in a few seconds, we'll have the last configuration released from the server. Okay, here we have it, okay? Completely configured, five clients already prepared to communicate in this subnet with IP addresses provided by this server. Okay, let's go to the var lib folder. I'm gonna show you another way of checking the leases. There is a file called dhcpd.leases. We can check. As you can see, I have all the leases that have been provided by our ISC DHCP server. And if you compare with the common DHCP lease list, the information is the same. So these are two ways of checking the same information. Use it as you like. In our ENP0S9 network interface, we have been providing DHCP service to our network. Okay. So guys, thank you for watching. Hope you have enjoyed it. Please subscribe my channel if you like. Press the bell button to get notifications and thank you. Bye bye.